to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. We have with us here today, Josiane Hurd. Josiane and I are holding the fort today. We are going to take you through a very simple sequence of 48 stretches. I'm not sure we're going to achieve the whole sequence today, but we are going to workshop the sequence in bits and parts, we're probably going to do, Josie and you like to do twists, right? I love twists. Josie and loves twists, so do I. I think we both have similar tastes. She hates yeah. balance posture, so do I. But we are going to start with twists, and we're going to start um, probably just do about 10 to 12 twists. And in tomorrow's episode, we'll take you through maybe a few balances, and then this batch of three episodes we'll close with the sun salutation sequence so let's do the twists today before we do that i would like to do a little bit of housekeeping right here yoga express is filmed in the studios of manhattan neighborhood network we air monday through friday on time warner 57 rcn 84 and fios 35 and well, our program airs at 1 30 in the afternoon that's 1 30 eastern time so if you would like to stretch with us, either in front of your TV or your laptop, or you'd like to stretch with us right here in the studios, you know how to contact us. Our details are up there. They will come up at the end uh, when the credits roll in. And you can also go to my website and send me an email. It's uh, www.yogaexpress.com, Y-O-G-A-X-P-R-E-S-S.com. And to get an idea of what we discuss here on air, you could also visit my website, yogaexpress.blogspot.com. It gives you a good idea. Also, go, when you go to the website, you'll get a good sense of uh, where this program is aiming to take you. Yoga itself is all about preventive health care and spinal care. Our program is about taking care of your spine at the bodily level. So when we stretch and we move into these postures into these various postures we breathe into them and we hold those postures the longer the holding time the more intense the stretch when we start holding them for a little longer every time we are starting to relax the mind and that's what we mean by moving the body to still the mind we also have a postcard for you with the simple 48 plus stretch sequence plus a fridge magnet stick this on your fridge the postcard in your handbag. Don't, don't ever give yourself or anybody any excuses not to stretch. Besides that, if you come on the show, if you come and stretch with us, we will give you a copy of Yoga Secrets, my third title. And any other assistance that you need, of course, you can, you're can. you also welcome to write in. You know where to reach me. Josiane, are we ready to do our twists? I oh, know yes. you're always ready. Okay. I'm waiting impatiently. The, the last time, the last episode, that we did, uh, was it with was the, Pavlos? Yes, was this, yes. Uh, we did a lot of seated, it wasn't twists. What did we do at that time? Anyway, we did a few stretches that actually were really very good chest openers. I think it worked the whole body. Twists are gonna help us stretch the midriff. So when we twist to one side, it stretches the side that we are away from, it stretches that part of the obliques and it strengthens the other side. Then we stretch the other way. So basically what we're doing is when we twist, we are wringing our body of blood, of oxygen, when there's no blood passing through a certain region of the body, maybe just for a few seconds, might be a little hard to breathe in, but then you start exhaling. So you have to keep breathing when you go into your twists, and that helps you detox faster. When you unravel yourself, when you untwist yourself, if there is such a word, when you untwist yourself, what happens is blood, fresh blood, fresh oxygen, 
rushes in and that's when all your glands and organs feel totally refreshed. So let's start with our twist. We are going to stand up. This is um, our chance and this is uh, for our crew also to know to follow us. We have Edison. Edison, speak up. What is your last name again? Alvin. Edison Albin on camera and Jeanette Santiago is our director today. Thank you so much. Rich Spezial, our studio manager, is responsible for all these lights and the sound, so I hope you can hear us. Josie, and what we're going to do is going to start with the first twist. It is a semi-twist. Let me hold this between us so we can share that. Trikon asan. Trikon, three, uh, three is three, corn is corner. Trikon is literally three corners. Let's turn towards Edison's camera which is camera one. Okay, we're gonna bring our feet out, but legs are out about three and a half feet apart. Put your brakes on. So when we say put your brakes on, bring your toes in. Now once you're nice and secure, you wanna make sure that your body is upright and facing, facing your front, not the front of the room or the cameras, but facing uh, the front of our body. So your brakes are on. Once you're nice and secure, turn your left foot out Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Turn left to look at the extended hand, extended arm. And we're going to exhale now. As we exhale, we will dip our left hand in front of the left ankle. Right arm goes all the way up. Both palms facing forward. Exhale and dip. Lean forward, keep exhaling. Left hand goes in front of the left ankle. Both your palms are facing forward. Josiane's favorite expression for this. Tell them, Josiane. Yeah, someone is holding my hand. Someone's holding Josiane's hand from up above. They're pulling and stretching. So keep some kind of imagery in mind that helps you remember to stretch. So keep your body totally alert, not tense. You just want to be alert and totally awake to the sensation of stretching. Let's inhale, come up. Hold it right there, turn your left foot in, put your brakes on on the left foot, turn your right foot out. <clears throat> when you turn one foot out and the other foot stays where it is, the sole of the right foot this time should be at a T with the inside of the left foot. We're gonna turn away from the camera for a change. I guess Edison will pick us up here. Look towards your extended arm on the right side. So you're the foot that is out. That is the arm you will be looking at, the fingertips on your right hand. Lean forward to your right just a little bit. Exhale and dip your right hand in front of your right ankle. Left arm goes all the way up. Keep exhaling. And when your arm is all the way up, you want to turn to look at the raised arm. I'm attempting to use a kind of breath called ujjayi breathing. Ujjayi is a loud uh, guttural breath. It's from the back of the throat. It's also an indicator for viewers to breathe with us, to keep exhaling with us. Don't forget to breathe. When we ask you to hold, it's always hold your posture, not your breath. You should feel a wonderful stretch. Josian, do you feel that stretch in yes, the back of your good. right leg? Mm -hmm. It feels wonderful, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Let's inhale, come up. Exhale and relax. Bring your right foot in. Now keep your feet where they are. We're gonna go a little deeper into these twists. We're gonna take the left foot back, out back again. Left foot turns out. Right foot, the toes are in. This time, when our arms are up to shoulder height, we're gonna exhale and bend the left leg at the knee. And as we keep exhaling, we're gonna dip further with the left hand coming down all the way in front of the left ankle, right arm goes all the way up and even overhead. So let's do that. Now inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Exhale, bend the left leg. So try and make, make a kind of a T. Keep your thigh, your quadriceps, the under part of your left upper thigh, try and keep it at an L with the floor or a T, whichever way you look at it. You want to make sure that your thigh, left thigh, is parallel to the floor. Now, keep exhaling. Dip your left hand in front of your left ankle. Right arm goes all the way up. The posture we just came 
into was Veerabhadra and now we are going to keep exhaling, take the right arm all the way overhead. This is Veerabhadra Kona. Veerabhadra, Veera is brave, Bhadra is warrior or soldier. Veerabhadra Kona, Kona as you know now is Kona. So Veerabhadra Kona. Hold. Every time you hold, you should feel a wonderful sensation as you come out of that posture because you have a lot of endorphins being released at the same time. Let's inhale. You should also feel a beautiful stretch on the right side of your body. The whole right side gets a wonderful stretch. Inhale. Let's come up. Exhale. Turn your left foot in. This time we want to make sure we do not forget the other side. Turn the right foot out. I know, Josiane's my minder. If I forget, she's going to spank me, so I don't want to take any chances. Now look to, your, to the tip of your right hand. Exhale, bend the right leg at the knee. Now try and go a little deeper every time. If you feel getting close to the floor is a little hard when your feet are closer, bring your legs out further apart. So when you put your brakes on, you are much more secure than when you have your legs out. So you should be quite safe. Keep dipping. Now, keep exhaling. Dip your right hand in front of your right ankle. Left arm goes all the way up. Veera Bhadra Kona. And then take your left arm all the way overhead with your palm facing down. Look up at your raised arm. So you're basically facing your bicep on your left arm. I'm going to take my shoulder back. Inhale, press with the leg, come up. Exhale and release. I'm going to bring our feet in, start wiggling your feet closer together. So we felt a bit of a semi twist because we dipped to the right and to the left. Now we're going to take you through, where is our postcard, my cheat sheet? <laughs> we're going to take you through a couple of twists that'll lead, it'll transition into the seated postures, but we start off with a fourth twist in a standing posture. So let me get this out of the way so we can share this. <clears throat> okay, let's stay facing uh, Edison because the camera is here. We have a camera person right here, so he should be able to pick us up. Now, oh, actually, no, we don't have our legs out this time. This one, we're gonna go into this one, Josiane. You remember this posture, you love this twist where you come down after the equestrian. Yeah. So Ashwa Santil and then Supta, uh, not Supta, this one is Parivritta. So we're going to take, uh, we're going to go a into twist. a twist that yeah. we include in the sun salutation. Why did I suddenly forget the name? Anyway, we're going to take you, <laughs> talk you through this twist. Bring your right foot all the way forward, so about two feet ahead of you. The left foot goes back and both your feet, the toes on both your feet are facing forward. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to wiggle my right foot further, a little further because I know once my feet are further apart, it's easier to get closer to the floor. So I'm going to, we're going to exhale and bend both the knees. Exhale and dip. Curl your toes in and the left foot place your left knee gently on the floor. I'm going to stagger myself a little bit. Ah, now I remember. Parsva Kona Namaskara. <laughs> okay, prayer twist, because I remember that was something to do with prayer. I remembered you wanted that twist to be included in... Was yeah. that, oh, that was a twist that I included in my sun salutation, then you had us the include warrior. the warrior pose. <laughs> so yeah, we're doing a lot of experimenting on the show, so you should come, give us your ideas, and we'll, we'll share it with everyone. Now, if you want to go deeper, you want to dip your hip, get closer to the floor, wiggle your right foot even further, keep exhaling, that'll help you dip Nice and close to the floor. Ali, you're welcome to join us. <laughs> oh, thank you. I wish I could. <laughs> Anytime, whenever you have time. Now make sure the toes on your left foot are flat. So the top of your left foot is flat on the floor. And you want to keep dipping, keep exhaling. And you should feel a delicious stretch in the upper front of the upper left thigh. So your quadriceps in the left leg feel a beautiful stretch. You will also feel some kind of a stretch in your quadriceps in the front of the upper right thigh, but mostly you'll feel the stretch on the abductor muscle, the outside of your upper right thigh. So keep dipping. Now, we're gonna go take this into a little twist. Right knee is up, inhale the left arm up. Exhale, dip 
the left elbow over the right and tuck it in. Tuck your elbow nicely over the knee. Place the right hand, right palm goes over the left palm. Raise your right elbow up and look up at the raised elbow and hold. When we say hold, remember it's always hold your posture, not your breath. Inhale, let's come out of that. And let's switch legs as gracefully as we possibly can. <laughs> when you're transitioning from one posture to the other, it's a little easier to switch gracefully. But when you're doing sections, you're just doing twists, then we skip a lot of other postures which are not twists. Transition gets a little harder. <laughs> We're gonna try. Now, left leg is out. Left foot, you can start wiggling it further and further ahead and dip. Keep exhaling as you keep dipping. This time you should feel a beautiful, beautiful stretch in the front of your upper right thigh. You will feel a little bit of a stretch in your upper left thigh, but mostly in your abductor muscles on the outside of your upper left thigh. Keep dipping, keep exhaling. <clears throat> now, inhale, left knee is up, right arm goes up. Inhale, exhale, dip the right elbow over the left. Hi Mel, we have two mats for you. Wanna join us? Left palm goes over the right palm. Left elbow is raised. Look up at the left elbow and hold your posture. Keep exhaling, don't forget to breathe. In yoga, you have to remember exhale is always more important than inhale. Inhale happens. So do a conscious exhale and the inhale will happen. Now we can inhale, let's come out of that posture. And we're gonna sit down. We're gonna come into a seated position called Ardha Matsendra, half lord of the fishes. Do you remember this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now Ardha is half, Matsya is fish. Matsendra means lord of the fishes. It was a name of a sage, sage Matsendra. And the posture we're gonna take you into is in itself a fairly intense twist for us. There may be many of you out there who are able to go all the way around. Ours is a half twist. Tuck your left foot. Left heel goes under the right buttock. Take your right foot. Use the props you already have. You do not need external props if you're mindful of what you already have. So move your right leg. Right foot goes over the left knee. You want to adjust yourself a little bit if you need to. Push your right knee in and torque your upper body to the right. So you want to hold that for just a few seconds. Now, your right knee is pushed in, right knee is up, left arm goes up. Inhale, exhale, dip the left elbow over the right knee, push your right knee in, try to hold on to your left knee. Now, if you do not make that contact, 10 minutes, thank you, Rich. If you do not make the contact with your left knee today, it's okay, you can place your left hand on the outside of your right thigh, wherever you can reach today, on your left chin, wherever you want to touch. Maybe you can just hold on to a piece of your garment. That's fine. You just want to make the connection. Do not leave your extremities, your arms and legs in midair. You always want to make sure that you have some kind of contact with your own body. Right hand goes behind and turn. Right foot should stay flat. Let's turn to look. This is a beautiful, beautiful twist. As far as I'm concerned, Josian, this is a full twist, right? Yes. It's called Ardha Matsindra. It's a half twist, but for me, this is full enough. Hold. Inhale. Release your hands first, and then your legs. Let's switch legs. Let's not forget the other side. You want to feel that delicious twist on the other side. So when we twisted to the right, we got a beautiful stretch of the obliques on the left side. We got a twist on the right side, so there's a compacting on one side, stretching on the other. Now, tuck your right foot under your left buttock. Take your left foot over the right knee. <coughs> Make any adjustments that you need to, I know I do. Push your left knee in and torque your upper body to the left. So sometimes, I don't know if you find this uh, to be true for you, but I find one side cooperates more oh, yeah. than the so other one side, side right? more flexible yeah. than the other. Yeah. I think that's a natural imbalance in most of our bodies. Yeah. As long as you're aware of it, that's all it takes. So yoga just makes you aware 
of your imbalances. It helps you or it makes you want to correct yourself, correct the imbalances. And all you do is make the effort. So don't get discouraged if you're not able to go into a complete twist. I've been practicing for 12 years. There are some twists I still, I, I still feel it's too challenging for me, but I, I don't give up, I still try. So push your left knee in, torque your upper body to the left. Now, inhale, left knee is up, inhale the right arm up, exhale, dip the right elbow over the left knee, push the right knee, left knee in, and hold on to the right knee. Place your left hand behind you, that'll help you twist your body out to the left just a little more. As you turn around, <coughs> it gets a little harder to talk because there's not much air in the lungs right now. But as you twist around, take your left shoulder back as much as you can and hold. Inhale, release the right hand first, and then untangle your legs. Why do you think we need to release the hands first and then the legs? <laughs> so we can use our hands to untangle the legs. Now, there was a twist last time that we skipped. We will do it this time, the marichas and the one that folds forward. So let's mm -hmm. do that. Extend your left leg out in front of you. Place the sole of the right foot flat on the, on the mat or the floor and close to your upper left thigh. You'll notice, depending on each person's anatomical proportions, you'll notice that you may need to move your right knee out just a little bit which will help you turn your upper body a little to the left. Now, as long as your foot does not move, you're safe. Hold on to your right ankle with the left hand. La right knee is up, right arm goes up this time. Inhale. We're gonna exhale and fold the torso down. Exhale and fold. Wrap your right hand around your right knee. This posture is called Marichasana. Marich means ray of light and it was named, also named after a sage, Sage Mariche. And once you've made the connection with your fingers, hold on to your fingers in the opposite hand from behind. So you basically are taking a left hand from behind to hold on, to clasp the fingers on the right hand, push your left shoulder back, and then turn to look right. And hold, make sure your foot, extended foot is flexed. Inhale, release your hands first and then extend the right leg out. Great, five. Bend the left leg at the knee. <clears throat> you wanna make sure that the sole of your left foot is very close to the inside of your right thigh. Now your left knee may want to come out just a little bit to accommodate your body going forward. So hold on to your left shin with your right hand. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, fold over from the hip. Wrap your left hand around your left knee. And in order to make sure, you, you wanna make sure that your hand doesn't slip. So you may want to tuck in your left hand into your hip. So between the um, upper thigh and the lower part of your abdomen, there's a little space. You might wanna hold your hand there while this hand goes out from behind and clasp the opposite hands together. So you're gonna hold on. Once you've made that connection, if you're not able to make that connection today, do not get discouraged. Use a belt, which we haven't got today. Use a face wash, anything that'll help you make that connection, that'll help you bridge that gap. And every day, inch your hands closer and closer to each other till one day you can just drop the prop. You don't need it. Now look to the left, move your right shoulder back so you get a nice chest to open at the same time that you have this wonderful twist. Inhale, release the hands first. And then the legs. I feel so refreshed after a twist. Yes. We had five uh, five minutes about two minutes ago. So I think we have three minutes. We're doing beautifully, Josie, and that's really wonderful. Now, get your, you know, I think we'll be timed out really well today because we'll have a chance to get, I'll have a chance to get mm -hmm. some feedback from you. Bring, extend both your legs out in front of you. Keep your feet flexed. Remember, every time you flex your feet, you're stretching the back of your legs. You point your toes, yes, it looks wonderful, looks very graceful, but you're stretching the front of your body, which really, the front of the body usually needs strengthening. The back of the body needs stretching. So in yoga, we always remind you to flex your feet, to stretch the back of the body more than the front. The front always needs strengthening. Even when you go to the gym, your trainer will tell you that. 
place both your palms beside your left hip. Now here's what we're gonna do before we do it. We're gonna just talk you through it. We're gonna exhale and dip the torso as close to the floor as we can. I know for me, it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Josiane probably can go deeper. But the point for us is we are not competing against each other, we're competing against ourselves. So you do the same at home. You get a little deeper into your posture every day. One millimeter a day is more than enough. The point is you try. And if you want to go a little deeper today, you're feeling a little impatient, keep your hands a little further away from your body. I just feel more secure with my hands closer to my body and I'm not too concerned if I don't go too deep. I'm just gonna make the effort, perfect. Now what you wanna do, place your left hand way behind you, exhale and dip. You wanna make sure, keep your right buttock on the floor. Try not to lift it because then you're not giving yourself the full benefit of the stretch. Inhale, let's come up. This time we're gonna twist on the other side. So you should feel that beautiful compacting on the right side as well. Right hand goes way back, left hand is flat. Exhale and dip. As you keep getting closer and closer to the floor, you might notice your right elbow might be almost touching the floor at times, but just make sure your left buttock stays down. You don't want to lift that. You don't want to take your feet with you. Keep your feet flat and flexed. Inhale, come up. Beautiful timing. We just have one minute. Let's do a favorite, Supta Parivritta. Let's turn around. We're going to lie down on our back and go through one last beautiful twist. I'm gonna take my fancy plastic clip off of my <laughs> hair. <laughs> Extend your legs out in front of you. Keep your right leg extended. Bend the left leg at the knee. Make sure that your left foot is flat and very close to the right thigh. Now you wanna place your left hand on your left hip. Place your right hand on your left knee and push your left knee over to the right side. Turn your body to the left. Make sure your left shoulder is on the floor and twist. Supta Parivritta, supine twist. Inhale, come up. Release the left leg, bend the right leg at the knee. Right hand is on the right hip, left hand on the left knee. Exhale and dip to the opposite side. Make sure your right shoulder is on the floor. Inhale, let's come out of that. Let's come back to seated position. So we have a chance to thank our wonderful crew and thanks to you, Josiane, you've been amazing. <laughs> thanks, uh, Rich, Jeanette, and tell me your name again. Edison, Edison. Edison has been with us for the first time. He's crewing for the first time, so I apologize, Edison. I will remember your name next time. Thank you so much for a wonderful show. And uh, Josiane, feedback, how do you feel? Wonderful. Feel great, right? The more oh, I do totally it, the better I feel. Ready to go bar hopping? Yes. Okay, let's go.